April 14th, St. Benezet. The boyhood of Benezet, or little Benedict the bridge builder, was spent in minding his mother's sheep. He was a pious lad, thoughtful beyond his years, and seems to have reflected much on the perils encountered by people who sought to cross the Rhone. One day, during an eclipse of the sun, he heard a voice which addressed him three times out of the darkness, bidding him go to Avignon and build a bridge over the river which was extremely rapid there. The construction and the repair of bridges was regarded in the Middle Ages as a work of mercy, for which rich men were often urged to make provision in their wills. But Benezet was only an ignorant, undersized youth without experience, influence, or money. Nevertheless, he did not hesitate to obey the call. As may be imagined, the Bishop of Avignon, to whom he addressed himself upon his arrival in the city, was not disposed at first to take him seriously. The prelate thought the man was mad and sent him to the governor to be punished. The later, irritated at his presumption, told Benezet that his mission was impossible. How can you, a poor man with no knowledge or resources, build a bridge when neither God nor his saints, not even Charlemagne, could do this? The Rhone here is quite impetuous. However, if you can take this enormous stone here in my palace and move it to the construction site, I shall believe your words. Benezet easily transferred the huge stone that thirty men could not move. With an expression of respect, the governor kissed Benezet's hand and gave him the first three hundred pieces of silver to begin the project. As news of this event spread through the area, donations started to pour in and many persons raised money for the saint. The first stone of Avignon Bridge was laid in that same year of 1177, in the presence of the bishop who blessed it. The construction took eleven years. During that time, a confraternity of lay brothers was founded called brotherhood of the bridge builders or pontiffs pont in french means bridge pontiffs means bridge builder who help build the avagon bridge Afterwards, they constructed others to facilitate the way for travelers, pilgrims, and the poor. They sanctified their work by common prayer and had a chapel where they sang the office. St. Benezet, to whom God had given the gift of miracles, directed and helped them. Once, the saint was traveling, and the devil turned over one of the pillars of the Avignon Bridge. Benezet immediately knew what had happened and returned to repair it. St. Benezet died in the year 1184. He was buried on the bridge itself in a small chapel that was built on the Avignon side. His body remained there for about 500 years until the year 1699 when part of the bridge fell apart and was washing away in a flood. Then his remains were transferred to Avignon Cathedral. In 1674 the coffin was opened and his body was found to be incorrupt and perfect. Even the iris of his eyes conserved the natural color. His body was afterwards translated to the church of the Celestine monks. The Order of the Bridge Brothers, the constitutions of which were approved in 1189, regarded St. Benezet as their founder, and he is reckoned one of the patrons of Avignon. Let us pray for perseverance in good works. St. Augustine says, When the saints pray in the words which Christ taught, they ask for little else than the gift of perseverance.